Hello, T Quilters. Today is Saturday, February 12th, 2022, and we're here to do live sewing chat at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We also have live chat on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for one hour. We don't do any sewing normally. So let me pull you all up so I can see who's in the chat room here. Let's see. All right. <laughs> Get you all situated right there. I am just running into the chat room. I had a meeting today and had to get something to eat. And so I am just kind of running a little bit late today. Let me see if I can cut this one on so I can take off notifications <laughs> and take the volume down all right so we're just waiting for people to come into the room Hopefully you all can hear me. I uh, left my mics on from the last time I was in here, so I'm not able to use my mics right now. I do have them charging, so hopefully I'll give them an hour. So the second hour, I will try to plug these mics in. So everybody, welcome. <laughs> hopefully you have a great Saturday going on right now. We've got Deborah Quilts was in here early. Hey, I saw her today. <laughs> C Rack says, hey y'all already hit the like button. Thank you, C Rax. And Deborah is saying hello T and all fellow quilters. It's cold here. Yes, I was actually feeling comfortable earlier in the day. I'd say about noon. It was like 47 degrees. And from noon to like 450, it changed to like 22 degrees or something. I was like, wow. Then I got really cold. So yeah. Prince Singh says hello to everyone. I hope you all have your snacks and are ready for the big game tomorrow. I will be cutting fabric tomorrow. I don't really care about football. And I, I just miss all the commercials, but I get highlights on the ones that were a big hit. I do like the commercials doing football games, but I can't sit there and watch that. Uh, Janice Miller is here saying hello to T. Quilters. Glad to be here. Ella Odom here, Vivian Calvi, Patricia Carlucio, Larray M says hi all, and Patricia is also reminding people to hit the thumbs up, Francis Jackson says hi T and everyone, Darlene Crosby, Lisa Thompson, Shirley Peters, Kim Burris, Brenda Foley, Sandra Agger, Ray Mahone, uh, Kevin the Quilter, Cynthia Dixon, Sharon Lewis, who's planning to work on a border this evening, so that's cool. Teresa McCormick's here. Zella McKenzie. Kim is welcoming everyone in that's joining the chat. Also reminding people to hit the thumbs up. So thank you, Kim, for that. Carrie Richards. Hello, Carrie. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate your comments. Uh, Carla Ford's here. June Hansen, Cynthia Shade, June Hansen, I said Judy Judy, <laughs> Sue is here, GSD, um, Kathleen Champ, <laughs> Kathleen Champ can't decide if she needs an air conditioner or a heater, Tiffany of Tiffany's Quilting Life is here. So she's only listening tonight. She has a headache. So um, I was watching your um, We'll Work for Fabric video, and I see you hoarding my fossil ferns. <laughs> That's really cool. 
I saw you uh, said that you were starting to collect them too. So that's pretty cool. Erlene Butler is here. Leisha Mo. Um, and Bonita Nance. She says that she's in Cambridge, Maryland. My story of the Underground Railroad quilt is part of the Black History Month quilt exhibit at the Dorchester area center of the arts now that is awesome congratulations Benita, on that that's pretty cool um stephanie memoirs of a long room quilter is here and yeah so that's pretty cool so welcome everybody claudette bettis just popped in So hopefully you all can hear me. I have done many recordings without a mic. I'm hoping that you all can hear me and that is not too bad today until we can get some charge on these mics here. Judy Plaster just came in. Carla says, busy the last two weeks with the whole Super Bowl in our city. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's going to be a mess. And they were at one point were so scared that the uh, truckers were going to shut it down. So hopefully they won't do that. They said they weren't. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully they won't do that. A lot of people have give, are giving Benita congratulations. Oh, let's see. Today we are supposed to be working with these blocks. I did not press. One, two, three, four four blocks look like it's not pressed don't know why I stopped maybe these are the last four that I sold last week when I made the eight and then I finished I'm, well I didn't finish I made seven more on Sunday zoom so I still have one more block to make um, I need yellow pieces I ran out of the yellow cut so we're just going to sew some of these units together today. <clears throat> Don Cunningham is here. Um... I'm going backwards. <laughs> Tucker is here saying, hey, teen, everyone. Still tired from my concert from the other night, so I will not stay long. Hey, Tucker. Uh, Sheila Willis is here. I think that's all I missed. I think. <laughs> all right, so I think that's all I missed. So welcome guys. So this is the sheet from that's the sheet from the packing order. So we'll just put that over there. When we were in here like two weeks ago, I had sold these blocks. Don't look like I pressed these either. <laughs> this is the first row of blocks. So I guess I'm gonna have some pressing to do. These other ones have been pressed here. So let's go ahead and get an iron on so we can start pressing. how much water I got. Um, do I have regular water? I know I got distilled water. <laughs> we need regular water for this iron. Okay. Right 
here. all over this card all right <laughs> so we've got an iron heating up we're gonna go ahead and start pressing I was supposed to press these pieces before so we'll do it now <laughs> I forgot Cynthia Washington's here hey Cynthia welcome to the channel Joyce Hernandez is here Elaine Doucette Lietta Bryant Deborah Holloway. Let's see, making sure I get everybody. <laughs> and welcome everybody. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe as well. Um, last week I didn't get a chance, this week I didn't get a chance to upload any videos. But I do have more videos in the queue. I just need, I just got other things that I'm working on. Uh, this next week, I'm going to be doing all cutting for my uh, next African fabric kits. So that's what I'm going to be cutting for. I have started ordering fabric for the next set of Take 5 kits. I just don't have uh, 30 different fabrics yet, so I'm still waiting or working on that. I should have another order coming in next week and hoping that that will fulfill everything that I need. Um, sometimes I order fabric and then I may not like fabric or I might decide that I like one for a backing. <laughs> so I have to make sure that I, I try to order a couple extra pieces just in case and uh, so I can make sure I have everything I need. Stephanie is reminding people to hit that thumbs up. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> and I got sinus issues again because I went out in the cold. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I had pressed these seams open with my wood press stick. So I'm just using some heat to reinforce that. So the nice thing is that they're still open. I just need to make sure that they stay open and stay nice and flat. <laughs> Valerie Buckingham is here. Hey, Valerie. Judy, Julie Smith. Hey, Julie. Okay, so that's one, and <clears throat> trying to just place this in the orientation of how it's going to be in the quilt top. <clears throat> yeah, I was supposed to have been, um, <laughs> I was supposed to have pressed these seams on these on these four patches a long time ago and I really thought about taking this apart and putting the sashing in here and then I go no we're not gonna do that <laughs> I thought about it hey Mary and <laughs> Sue talking about to whom it may concern 122 days until our retreat yes 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 I am um um working on retreat currently all positions are still filled um right now so i might have a position for somebody that don't need a place to stay uh somebody local in missouri i might can have one person so that's all I see available right now is for commuter, is what they call that. Okay. So when I did this one, it goes this way. And it should be one more. 
Hmm. <laughs> I should have two like that one. Like, where is it? Oh, it's still in the box. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Hi, Tunanyi. She's here. Uh, Lietta says she didn't sash hers. Okay. So... Good to know. <clears throat> and I'm, I am using, I'm not using Bonnie setting either. I'm just sewing these blocks together. I have no idea what I'm going to do with borders and all these extra pieces I got made. Uh, but I just want this part done. All right. So this one has this piece going up. Okay, so now I've got these blocks here that I have not pressed the seams on yet. So we're going to do that. You all are pretty quiet tonight. <laughs> I wonder if this would make it a little bit brighter back here. Oh my gosh. The sniffles from sinuses. Woo. As I was saying, I met, I had a meeting today. I met with my small group today. We had a nice meeting. Um, it's always great when you can gather with some quilters, people that are like-minded. It's always fun time. So I appreciate that. Hi, Cheryl Randall. Welcome. I can't even get this seam open. So I may as well put it on the, ugh. Okay. I don't know if I have Kleenex in here or not. Cause it's driving me nuts, the sniffles. I should have taken medicine before I came in here, but I wasn't that bad before I came in here. <laughs> Like every time I open a small pack of Kleenex, I always lose it because it's a small pack of Kleenex. <laughs> Stay up there. I'm ironing on this press stick so I don't mess up my previous seams. Okay. Yeah. That's one. So I can sew four of these together. Let's see if I press these other seams. Yep. So we're just going to sew some seams because we don't really like doing a whole lot of pressing. <laughs> I'm already over it. I was supposed to have everything pressed before I came in here. Hi, Ella. She's here. She's saying hello, everyone. Sue says, not necessarily quiet, just exhausted. So far, work nine days straight. Next day off is Thursday. Oh, my gosh, girl. Are people not coming to work? I got to take my uh, pagey into the groomers on Monday. 
And then her mom is going out of town, so I'm going to be dog sitting again. Leanna says, I miss my quilting family. Yes. I I just, I'm having such a difficult time finding reasonable accommodations that we can rent for a scrap club. Our place is not, that we met before, is not having meetings. And so, yeah, we don't have a place to meet for scrap club yet. So, that's the problem. This right here holds right sides up. They got ticks in these in these two blocks, just so happen. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and make another four patch here and then I'll press something else. <laughs> uh T says just watching you didn't touch machine at all. Spent time thinking how to organize sewing room. So that's good takes a plan so you're not just moving stuff all around so that's a good idea Kim says I put up my big floor frame I put my big floor frame together and have my aunt's memory quilt on it ready to tie now that's cool our gill is tying quilts next week at the meeting for charity quilts I think that's what they're doing. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> um, Stephanie saying, I really need to get one of those press sticks. And this is just a miniature here that I'm using. I normally have, it's 22 inches long. So this is just a miniature version. So let's see, it doesn't matter because I can always switch what's on top and bottom, but we're just going to sew a seam, whoops, <laughs> let you know I haven't been in here, I've been doing bindings and um, I'm going to make sure I've got the right thread in my bobbin, I've been working on binding quilts, so <laughs> I did not even put don't have my machine threaded i do have regular thread in here so that's good so i must have changed the bottom and then didn't thread the top okay put this back in I can't see without taking this cover off. I was trying to do it without. <laughs> Sometimes I can, other times it's a pain. You gotta get this into the cutter. These pieces need to be pressed. All right, needle up. Clean this area up a little bit. Whenever I'm using color thread, it always gets a little dirtier. All right. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> See what it says, squaring up my blocks into 1.5 inch squares. 
four-star general madness. Yes, honey, I understand. Sue says, one of the girls took an unexpected vacation and no one else to cover for her. Okay. That's why she's working so many days in a row. I'm like, goodness gracious. All right. Teresa McCormick, how many are in your scrap club? I do up to 25. In my scrap club, I try to keep it small because of meeting location where we were at. It was just uh, not conducive. And uh, t if all 25 showed up, we were kind of crammed. But uh, most times, you always have somebody that's not going to come, one or two or three people or so. And so I always do number 25 for that location. So it might change if we get a different location. LaRae says, really wishing I had a quilt frame right now. I'm quilting on my dining room table. Yes, I've been there, done that. I had the uh, John Flynn system that I used to quilt on my dining room table. And I just didn't like it very well. I ended up selling that long before I even got a long arm. I just found I didn't like it. I, re I did just regular machine better with no frame. you get in there all right Sandra says T did you try the non Bernina bobbins in your machine yet yes I did and I did report on those uh, I've been using them on my when I'm stitching my bobbins my binding on with color bobbins sorry and uh, they are working just fine I haven't had any issues. I only had, I done one where it actually ran out and the indicator did tell me that it was running out. So I don't know why I'm just like grabbing four blocks to put together. I need three blocks. <laughs> Gotta pay attention. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm not really worrying about where the blocks itself is going, except that I'm trying to make sure that some of the background doesn't touch if I can. It's not critical, but if I can. And then we need one of these other blocks right here. Turned. Um... So this is row number one, this is row two. Where's the other block with hearts? We'll put this one over there. I'm doing it upside down. Right there. So we need this four patch. <laughs> so yeah, so Sandra, they actually work great so far. I haven't used them a lot, just about four or five times maybe, uh, but I've used different bobbins as well. So this one, I'm matching up the seams because this should be the same size. Remo JS is here saying good evening to the T Quilters, to TNT Quilter, thumbs up. We have 49, but 94 watching. So thank you, Remo. So these are some of the older blocks here that I didn't press the seams open. So a little bit bulkier. Oops. Okay. Back you up out of here. <laughs> the scene wants to come my way. And I don't want it to. Thank 
Thank you, Darlene. She's welcoming everybody into the chat room. I'll pin her message so you all can see it. Kim was right behind her. <laughs> Thank you both, ladies. Maria Quarterman here says, hello, Miss T and Quilters from Ellabel, Georgia. Yes, welcome. She says, thank you. Did you get them from Amazon in a plastic case? Yes, I did. It's the, I got it in the pink case. So just making more four patches. That's how I normally piece rows, especially when I got a lot of seams that need to connect. I just kind of make larger four patches instead of sewing everything across in one long row, just that I'm handling shorter pieces. Cheryl Knuckles is here saying hello, everyone. Hey, Cheryl. Ella's also reminding people to hit the thumbs up. Remo is asking, has anyone purchased a sewing machine vacuum? I had one very long, long time ago from Nancy's Notions. And my it didn't connect to my particular style of vacuum. So I might need an updated version where, you know, vacuums change over time. So I just open it up and clean her out the old-fashioned way all right So these first two should go together. All right. And I can take the connecting thread off as well. Put my iron back on. She says, I have the attachment kit. It works for her. I think she's talking about the, uh, Carl is talking about the vacuum attachment kit for the, and that's what I have. It's just that, you know, every brand of vacuum is so different. What's, uh, is a sewing machine vacuum? <laughs> It's attachment that hooks up to the holes of your vacuum, and then it actually can suck out some of the dust that's down in your machine area. Tiffany is giving you all a link also for the Facebook group. And uh, answer the three questions, please. If you want to get in, just makes it a lot easier for us to know that you are really a quilter. <laughs> Uh, Vanessa says, I have used those bobbins without any issue as well. I have been pleased. Yes. And they are a whole lot cheaper. And I don't mind buying quality first class products, but I think if it's the same thing and you're just overcharging me, uh, they didn't look any different than the ones I got from Bernina. So I don't know. I'm trying to press this open before I get the heated iron just to give myself a start. I'm not sure if my iron's even hot yet. Press this seam open. We got so many seams intersecting and they're going the same direction. So, because it's the same block. So, I'm just pressing everything open. Make it lay flatter, in my opinion. Okay, so this one is the one that does not have the text. So we'll just put you right there. 
whenever my blocks have text, I always try to turn the text right side up. <laughs> so it's readable in the quilt. Don't know why. But I do. If I can. <laughs> Sometimes you have no control over it. See some big hunk hunking seams here. Kim got hers from the Viking Center. She has two Viking machines. I'm trying to read. Press open seams. I need to look at what I'm doing. All of these super thick seams here. Stephanie is also reminding you all, says it only takes a moment. You don't have to leave the live. Hit the thumbs up. Robin Marie says, I do not do Facebook. Sorry. That's fine. And I do know a lot of people do not uh, use Facebook. Uh, unfortunately, that's where a lot of the sew-alongs and group postings happen is on Facebook. We really don't have a, another group. Yahoo groups kind of disbanded, so we don't have another place to go uh, other than Facebook. So... Now I'm just going to sew this into a larger four patch. Let's see how many four patches is in this quilt. One, two, three, six, nine, it'd be 12. <laughs> 12 four patches. How can we thumbs up without leaving a live? That's Francis. That would be if you're only on a, on a cell phone, probably not in full screen mode. Tomorrow is my sewing day. Hubby will be gone most of the day. Our weather has been nice. Uh, for the past two days, and I've been outside getting cold again tomorrow. Yeah, so that's, who was that? Darlene. So, yes. I went out a couple of days ago and got the snow off my deck. That's the only thing I hate about my large deck is you got to go push the snow off. And then it got warm enough that it melted the rest of the ice that was underneath the snow. So I just don't like all that water going through my deck when it's a lot of snow. So I went out there and pushed that off into the yard. It was good exercise. I actually paid somebody who was walking down the street to clean all my driveway and stuff. So I didn't have to do that. So I say, okay, you can go do the do the deck then. <laughs> and I only had to really worry about the parts that were kind of in the shade. I got part of my deck is gets a lot of sun. The other part gets shade. It's kind of weird. A lot of people are helping Francis in the comments, so thank you guys. Bella says, "Et the purple pencil you use for seams look interesting. That's a wood press. Um, and it presses seams so I don't have to. Sometimes, like, 
when I'm at my piecing stage, I don't have to go to a heated iron every time. So that's what I use. It's a, a wood press stick. I do sell a few wood press sticks. You don't have any choice of what color you get because it's just whatever I have in stock. Uh, but I do sell the sets where you can pick what I have in stock. It comes with the same ripper and stiletto as well that matches. But um, I do have about maybe three wood press in stock right now. But like I said, you don't really get to pick what you get. Uh, it's just whatever I have in stock. And they're $15 for just a press stick. They're available on my website, tquilts.com. All right. Put this back on here. See if the iron will tackle these. <laughs> I'm just sitting in one little spot here trying to get one part open. All right. That's done. Give it a good press on the outside. Okay. That's one. Just depends on how much storage I put in my fabric if I need to use the wood press. If all the seams are going to the same direction. I think those blocks, yeah, see I had all the seams pressed open so I didn't have to use my wood stick to get started. This one here is two different blocks so it's not a whole lot of seams meeting up. I think just two of them. So it's not as bad. So, it just depends on what I'm sewing together. But I am using that press stick to keep, so I'm only pressing that center part, the seam. All right. This goes right here. This is underneath. And just checking to make sure because I could turn it around, but we're okay. And we're going to sew this together. And I need one more with all four of the same units. All the seams go in the same direction. Goodness gracious. <laughs> um, um, let's see. I missed some comments. <laughs> Francis says she's got it. Thanks to everybody. Thanks for helping, guys, again. Kathy's Creative Chaos is here. Hey, Kathy. Elizabeth Hewitt is here. Beautiful quilt you're making. Thank you. It's actually Bonnie Hunter's design, except that I'm using somebody else's layout. Her name is Debbie Doran Bozzi. I saw her layout where she didn't use any sashing, and she is sewing a different design. So I'm just basically sewing these blocks together just to get them done. I don't want them hanging around anymore. I want them out the way. So I've been using the live sewing chats to motivate me to get this done. So that one's down. This one is up. 
the seam allowance is trying to come back the other way. I don't know what happened to it in a box. Okay, whoops, got a pin down here. And my nails are bad, guys, because I think I'm going to take off the gel part of my nails. And I uh, tried using regular acetone, and it wouldn't come off, so I'm waiting for 100% pure acetone to arrive. So I'm trying to take off these nails. So this would be two four patches. I want to do one more. And then I'm going to sew those other four patches together I got up there. That'll be um, row one. This is row two I'm working on. We got four rows. We need 12 blocks. 12 four patches. Patricia says, just wanted to let you know my chair came in and it's wonderful, but it's light color. So I put a small lap quilt on it to protect it. That's all they had at the time, but I love it for the price. Okay. So I'm wondering if, did you get the gaming chair? Darlene's asking too, what kind of chair? She says the chair also has a 10-year warranty. Kathy says it feels good to get projects completed. Yes. Hey, Connie. She says, hello, T. Thanks for the gift. Hello, all others tonight. Connie, I think you were the one that sent uh, me a card. And I if you're, I need to know who you sending that card to. I need to, I'll email you. I saw it. I just haven't had a chance to email you. Cricket is here saying, hey, everyone. Oh, she says it's the one that T has. So it came in. She's talking about this one from Ikea. So they're getting them back in stock. So that's good. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I went to Ikea and they didn't have them in stock. But that's been a, a few months ago now. Like October of last year. Hey, Beth. Welcome. Lynette Williams is here. Welcome to you as well. All right, so I've got two of these. Let me set this thing. His arm's still on. Yep, I want to make sure. T says gel is usually filed off. Acetone works well for acrylic. I have to file it down to get it started, but you actually have to use 100% pure acetone to get off gel nails completely. If you file it down, you'll be filing on your real nail, and you don't want to do that. So I have to file it down so that the acetone can get up under the shiny part of the acrylic or the gel, the gel nails. I have to do that. So, but they do, you, you just file them with a stiff emery board to get the shine off. And then once the shine is off, um, you just soak them that way. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I just might do gel nail polish and not gel nails. Uh, because me being a quilter, for me, I, my nails grow really, really fast. And I'm finding that my under nail, my real nail, is getting caught on stuff. And I don't want that anymore. It's a, it's a nuisance. So that's why I'm not going to get regular gel nails anymore. I'll get gel nail polish, but I won't be getting gel nails. This thing's reminding me that I got live sewing chat and I'm already here. 
<laughs> Certain things come through on my watch. My emails come through on my watch. And my calendar. The rest of it I leave off my watch. Because I don't want to be bugged all day. I don't want any Facebook notifications or YouTube notifications. <laughs> I'd never get any peace. <laughs> I guess I cut everything else off. It comes through on the watch instead. <laughs> Okay, we still need one more four patch. I'm just gonna start it and then we'll finish up with it later. I need four of these. <clears throat> Let's see. Bonita says, good night, everyone. I have an early flight tomorrow. We'll watch the replay. Thanks, Bonita. Be safe on your traveling. Tiny says, I thought we were to send you cards for Remo's lost partner. That's what I thought. Okay, so you just got the wrong name. That was Mario. And I just wanted to make sure. She says, family member, you were going to mail them on. I thought, yes. But you had uh, Ramos on there, and I didn't know if you meant Remo. <laughs> and so I was just holding it until I talked to you. So, okay, I got you. I'm going to make sure it goes to him, and I'll just change the name on it and put his name on there. So thank you, Connie. I'm going to mail out. I'm mailing mine on Monday, so I will mail yours with mine. Thank you, Darlene. See, Darlene's got the name right. That's what confused me was the name. So I didn't know because it was a name very similar to the one you were calling out that you had written. So I wanted to make sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Heather says, my grandma would say you have piano hands because you have long fingers to reach those octaves. Now I took a piano class i got long fingers but i didn't feel like i did a very good job now i don't have a p i didn't have a piano at home to practice so um it wasn't i didn't get piano uh what do you call that instructions i took a piano class at the community college so it wasn't like i had somebody sitting by me uh, by myself you know to guide me along but i did okay but it was hard playing with two hands. <laughs> I could play, uh, the funny thing is I could play my right hand better than I could the left. And I'm left-handed. That is so crazy. You would have thought it would have been easy for me. Okay. And then we're going to do these two together. All right, got to pan two intersections here because the seams are all going the same direction. <laughs> Don't get the stickers either. The heat from the iron will peel them right off, even with top coat on them. Oh, she's saying don't get the stick. Okay. So don't get stickers on your nails. Okay. I have never really, well, you know, I pay to get my nails done. I've never really paid to do a whole lot of extra stuff. Uh, they charge you per the nail, so I just say I just need a regular manicure. <laughs> I've never gotten any of the extra stuff. Then it says, I've been working on a quilt for my sister today, but I'm trying to bind it. I've discovered I really dislike binding. I've started over three times so far. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, and there's many different ways to do it. If you don't like doing it one way, maybe try another. And I'm not sure what method you're doing, but there are so many different methods of doing bindings or edge finishing. Okay. Okay, press this back up in here. So we got this block done. We can press it. And Connie says, yes, Mario's partner. So I need you all to keep me straight with the names. Thanks. Yes. I just wanted to make sure, just double checking. Uh, Heather, because I don't know what's in your card. I just know that on the outside, it's when you were telling me who it's for, that it had the wrong name. And so I just wanted to make sure. Heather says, Grandma gave lessons. She looked at everybody's hands laughing out loud. Now, that's funny. I wish I had learned to play when I was a kid, When you, especially when you're more flexible, more nimble. Darcy says, hi, T and everyone. I am late because my son had their final junior varsity hockey game they tied 3-3 everyone remember to get to her thumbs up well welcome darcy glad you were able to make it beth says two hands take some practice i play piano i have still have issues with my left hand yes tucker say i love playing the piano something me and my grandma can do together that's nice that's a great memory you're gonna have there uh, Patricia says, how would you fussy cut a 2.5 eighths inch square on point? <laughs> By making a, t a plastic template and uh, the, that size and then putting it on point and cutting, placing around it and then tracing and then cutting it out. Um, so you've got to make a, a template for that. So you can see exactly where it is. And then on your template, you can actually put you know cross hair lines on it across and diagonally corner to corner to make sure that it's in the center if you're that particular sheila green says hello from missouri i nearly caught alive yes hey sheila welcome <laughs> kevin says me mom taught my sis how to play the piano and me how to quilt now that's awesome too great great memories and his sister is still playing the piano to this day. So that's good. And Kevin is still quilting to this day. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. You're welcome, Sheila. Um... Lynette says, I don't know what it's called. Sew it on the back and pull it to the front. Sew in the ditch on the back and supposed to have a one four seam on the front. Not working for me. She says she sewed it on the back and pulled around to the front. Sew in the ditch. Oh, no. You should be sewing on the... If you put it on the back of the quilt and pulling it to the front, you should be stitching from the front, not the back. That's how I would do it anyway. I would just stitch right along the uh, edge of the binding. And then I have put my binding on the front and pressed it to the back. And then I stitched in the ditch from the front. Um, that's what I was just talking about Wednesday in the chat is that I bought a die, uh, an AccuQuilt die, two and three quarter inch strip so that I can test if that extra quarter of an inch will help because every once in a while I have one little spot or two where it didn't catch on the back of the quilt. And so I either catch it with my hand later or if I see it while I'm still in here at the machine, then I'll go ahead and uh, redo it while I'm here at the machine and I'll use pins. Um, but I, I'm going to start cutting my binding two and three quarter inches to see. It's going to be a test.
to see if that extra quarter will help because I'm just barely missing it. And my problem is, the reason why it's happening for me is because every once in a while on one side of my quilt top, I'm putting my uh, binding on by the long arm. And every once in a while I'll miss. I don't know. Yeah. Every once in a while I'll miss uh, my long arm. Like on one side, I feel like my foot is giving a bigger seam than the other side when it shouldn't, but it is. So I don't know if my foot needs to be adjusted. But instead of figuring all of that out, I just decided I would... I don't know why I'm sewing this because I don't want to sew any more blocks here. What I want to do is start sewing these things together. My uh, four patches. <clears throat> so this is a four patch block just to show you guys. Trying to get around this um, fabric here. So this is one of my four patch blocks. And I'm going to sew it to another four patch block. My paper just fell. <laughs> so I stay up here. Oops, it's not cooperating today. And now I need to make sure I got this right. Okay, so we're stitching over here. And I've got these fabrics coming up, but that's okay. Um, yeah, okay. Let me turn it around to the other side. I didn't want all those uh, light fabrics that are the same meeting up together. <clears throat> Make sure that piece is right side up. Yep. Because we definitely don't want to sew anything wrong when we sew on all of these seams. <laughs> that would not be fun. Uh, Patricia says, I'm trying to work on the ribbons run quilt. I have no idea what that is. Um, Lynette says, oh, okay, let me do that. Got to be better than what I'm doing. Thank you so much. Yep, if you put that binding onto the back and bringing it to the front, you're just edge stitching it down. Using the same color of thread as your binding. And you're welcome, Lynette. <laughs> Ella says, I can only play the flute. I can't play any, well, I, I can, I can, you know, I can read some notes and peck out some stuff, but I really can't play. <laughs> That's been so long ago, but I can read notes. Uh, Lorraine says, I can't finish a binding on machine to save my life, but I don't mind. I like hand binding. And I have been for years, I'm an avid hand binder. But I have so many projects from COVID and so many things that needed binding. I had over 10 quilts in a stack. I've done three. I did two big bed quilts. And then I, from start to finish, that I needed to bind. And then I had two more big bed quilts. One maybe full-size quilt needed binding. I did those this week. Those were sitting there since 2000. I said, this is ridiculous. I realized my pineapple quilt needs to, it's been quilted, never had the binding done. I still might do that one by hand because I really like that one. And then I also have uh, the Exploding Heart Quilt's been quilted. It doesn't have any binding at all. So I'm probably going to do that one by machine. Yeah, it's, this stuff got to get done. It's, it's just team too much right now. Okay, so let me take this off so we can get out the way. This is the block that actually goes onto this row. So I'll press it and get it ready. Next. Um. <laughs> Uh, 
thank you, Lynette. She's saying, or people are, a lot of people are saying that it's beautiful. I guess I missed Deborah, one of the Deborah saying good night. So good night, Deborah, whichever one it is. We had two in here tonight. Uh, I'm hand binding because I decided to try it, to do it that way. And I was missing way more than every once in a while, laughing out loud. I tried, yeah. And that's why I think that it will be a lot easier. I think, I don't know if you girls are pressing either. I kind of showed that when I was working on the cardinal quilts. When I was doing the live chats, I did those, uh, not cardinals. I probably was the cardinal quilt, but I was doing those uh, t-shirt quilts for my customer that had three t-shirt quilts I made last year. I'm going to guess and say it was like June of last year. And I was sitting here showing you all live me sewing bindings on by machine. And every once in a while you just miss. So I am going to cut my binding just a little bit bigger and see if that will help. We shall see in the future. Thanks, Ella. Good night, Carla. She's got the Super Bowl to deal with tomorrow. Sue says, how many of you got on the chandelier quilt bandwagon? That was so funny that the chandelier quilt pattern became so popular. And I had already pulled that pattern a long time ago to use for... Um, my crown royal quilt somebody else had sent it to me um and i think she just changed the name of it because the block is something else and i think turning it on its side is i forget the name of the block right now i have to look it up again <laughs> but i do have i do plan to use that for my crown royal quilt kim burris says she played the guitar for a while so arthritis got bad and she had to give it up my stepdaughter tried the uh, guitar. My daughter did um, violin, clarinet, and tenor saxophone. Those were the three instruments. She play She could do keyboarding too, but that's what she actually played officially in, in band. Crystal Lewis says, hi, TNL. Beautiful pattern. I love it. Thank you. It's actually Bonnie Hunter's um, sew along pattern that I'm uh, working on trying to get these items completed. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut this apart because it doesn't matter <laughs> if I keep my pieces together or not here. I'm just trying to make it so it's easier for me to press in a small space. And hopefully this on's on. Yep. I always look before because I'm using steam, so I don't want to put an iron down here that's not on and press the steam button. Turn it over and hit the right side. Okay. That's one. Beth says she played the ukulele, uh, the guitar, but found the ukulele worked better on her hands. So that was cool. It was easier on the hands. And I'll show you all what I'm, um, how I'm putting this together. Again, this I got out of a group from... Um, I think uh, Debbie <sighs> Dorambazi, I think Debbie Dorambazi, and she had her setting like this. So I got me a blow blowed up picture now, and I have just marked out the grid lines of what kind of four patches I need to make so that I can put this quilt together. So that's basically what I'm doing is I'm just making. Um, little four patch units and then I'm gonna sew them together the only reason I wanted to pull this out because I just wanted to make sure I wasn't putting the same red squares together and this will work 
So we'll sew it up. And Mary is saying the Missouri Star has a good tutorial on it. Yep. Sue started to play five string bango, bango many years ago until I realized that I have no musical talent whatsoever. Yes, I'm like, hang with me, girl. I can't carry a tune in a bucket. <laughs> Ridiculous. Can't sing, can't play. I was a dancer growing up, though. I could dance. Now they got all these different dances out. I don't even know what dance they're doing nowadays. So if it's not line dancing, I don't do it. All right. Good night, Erlene. Thank you so much. Um, good night, Vivian. <laughs> Cam say, I just play the radio now when I sing. <laughs> okay, so let's sew this block together. It's the last block in the row that's on here already. So I'm going to... Sew this on. I'm trying to get two rows put together. That'll be half the quilt. That's the goal tonight. At least half the quilt done. We shall see. I have to... Whoa. Oops, let's lift you up. All right. Some thick seams. This is ridiculous. It's not even moving. <laughs> they had a hump to jump. Rhonda Barlow. Hey, Rhonda. What is the name of this pattern? It's uh, on, oh. <laughs> Red Retrododium. Let me see if I can find it. It's been so long since I looked it up. Um... I don't have any of the papers in here. Um, Diane 57 is not in here. Who's working on this can tell her the name of this pattern. Because I forgot. Rhododendrum is what I think it's called. Rhododendrum Trail. It's the name of the pattern. Uh, I don't know if it's still free on her website yet. It was a free sew along, but she normally takes them off when it's over after a period of time. And I haven't been back to her website, so I don't know. So, Trying to get these little seams in here. I should have. I got that little bitty stick. I'm not even trying to use it now. <laughs> I got so much fabric. I probably need to use it so I don't press my other seams the wrong way. And quit hitting this steam button, girl. I 
I need to be using that stick. It'll get, I'm just scared I'll get it lost up under here. I got so much now. I need the longer one. Um, okay. Got that one pressed. I'll give it a good press on the big surface when I get there. See what this look like. This is the top. So this is what I have now. <laughs> Oops, right here. Hopefully you all can see that. And I'm going to just temporarily put this right here and go sew the previous row. This piece is here. This is all four up here. And I don't think any of the reds are matching. Yep. So all we care about, the pinks are different, I think. I don't have to worry about those. My husband cooking something. Love line dancing. Had to give it up for a while. Thanks to plantar fasciitis. Yep. Ugh, I hate when my heel hurts. Darcy says, I watched Dirty Dancing yesterday. Forgot how sexy Patrick Swayze is. Hey, Damali J. <laughs> Welcome. I'm painting all of my critical intersections because every last one of these seams are going in the same direction. <laughs> Where it's not going in the same direction. I'm using that as an opportunity to ease some stuff. So I'm only pinning where my intersections are. Alright. This one right here. What happened? That's on here. Okay, so we'll press that one next. Tiffany, somebody, I'm just jumping in to add that I used to play guitar and sing. Now I can't do either. Well, my singing got worse from having BF, but I still try. Yes. I sing anyway, even though I know I can't sing. I still sing. It's like, you just kind of have to cover your ears. This is where I can ease a little bit. Not that much is needed, but I can ease. Take advantage. Back up on these humpback seams I got going on here. All right. So we're going to press this one that's back here. Press this one open. Yeah, rhododendron. I thought it said trail. I don't know. On the rhododendron. Thank you, Darcy. I mean, Darlene. That's Darlene. Thank you, Darlene, for the pattern name. Uh like people are saying good night to Cheryl. She's saying good night, everyone. Got a long day tomorrow. Be safe. Good night. Thank you so much. Uh, Vicky is here. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Um, 
I missed some of the good night things, guys. So, <laughs> Darlene was saying, I can't spell it, laughing out loud. Right. <laughs> I'm looking for my wood press. It's over here. Uh, right in the middle. Got all these seams and they don't want to lay flat. So we go rub this on here. <laughs> Make them conform. Just got so many seams pressed the same direction. Um, Tiffany says that she sang with a country band for a while. I was the youngest. And uh, not 21, but I still got on stage in a few nightclubs. Thankfully, no one knew my age. <laughs> I figured if they figured the band was bringing you in, you was okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Thanks, Darcy. People saying it's looking good. I'm so far behind. Um, that flower used to grow at my grandmother's house. Beautiful plant brings good memories for me. So that's cool. That was the Molly. And Darcy says, if you're going, remember the thumbs up before you go. Thank you, Darcy, <laughs> for the reminders. Also, if you're new, please subscribe to my channel. I'm on live Saturday. Saturday nights, we do so and chat. Two hours, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time to 10 p.m. And then on Wednesdays, I just do a live where I'm on, let's see, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I do upload a vision, videos occasionally. I'm just running behind right now. Um... So yeah, so this is my first row. This is my second row. And so since I only got two, I got three blocks in a row. I've got two four patches sewn together to other four patches. I'm going to sew these two together. This is going to be my left side of the quilt. I'm just sewing whatever I can sew where I'm sewing smaller seams instead of going straight across the entire quilt. That's what I'm doing here. I press that seam. It's waiting for this piece to be connected to that piece that's sitting back there. So I'm just trying to sew as many shorter seams as I can, especially when I got a lot of seams to, mat up, to match up. So, and I doubt if I'll press the final seams because I will probably wait and do that on my bigger system on my big board. But we'll get them sold. But I don't think I'm going to have enough room to do all this pressing. <laughs> but we'll do what we can. Thanks, Darlene. Also reminding people about the thumbs up. Melissa Fannin says, can't sing, dance, or play an instrument. Guess I'm a mess. <laughs> You can line dance. Everybody can line dance. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. She's giving you all the link for Bonnie Hunter's pattern. So it must be still online. If you want this, want to do this quilt cool top, go get it now. I think it's about seven sections plus an introduction. Because it's not going to be free probably toward the end of February. She only leaves it free 30 days normally after she does a reveal. <laughs> Kathy went down a rabbit hole, but she's back now. <laughs> I don't even know what Kevin's talking about.
Uh, and Cam says, Melissa, you want to mess? You're the fan club. That's funny. This sounds so weird, but I'm glad to hear other Bernina users say that they're having trouble going over some scenes. Remo says, I'm finishing sandwiching my baby clothes, and then I'll be done with two baby clothes and two receiving blankets and sending to Alaska. Baby came three weeks early, seven pounds, 12 ounces. Well, congratulations. That's really awesome. And going to get some nice gifts. Yeah, that was going to be a huge baby. Um, yes. So I'm at the bottom for right now <laughs> until I sew this same and look back up and the screen's gone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oops. I got three seams. Two of them don't intersect. So that's good. Whoops. Needle up. Rima was saying thank you to everybody. Okay, this seam is kind of leaning to the side. I don't know why. <laughs> it's acting like it's at a ball game wave club or something. It'll be interesting to see how that stitches out. Okay. I don't know if I had the pen in there wrong or what. <clears throat> All right. We're going to take this one off because we're going to put it to the other piece. Thanks, Ella. She says it's time for her to go to bed. It's now 425 in the morning. Girl, <laughs> I wish you a nice evening or and good night. Bye. See you later, Ella. Thank you so much. All righty. I'm going to. Try to hit this one, see if it makes it easier to press this open in that middle where that intersection is a little bit bad. Since I didn't do it last time, let's see. And I'm trying to lay this flat so I don't mess up my previously pressed seams when I pull this iron in here. That's why I like pressing on the stick. Nancy Gus is here. No, Nancy Guess. I'm sorry. I've realized Tiffany has told me that there is two different Nancys. There's a Nancy Gus and a Nancy Guess. So I thought it was the same one with the different spellings. Okay. So... Uh, I'm at that center intersection right here. I got a big lump. <laughs> <Ooh -wee. laughs> right there. <laughs> Press hard. <laughs> okay. If I had known I was going to do this, I would have pressed all the seams open. But when you're making lots of units of something and you get behind, it's just a lot easier, a lot quicker to press the seam to the side. 
I wish I had just pressed the entire quilt with the seams open. It would be a lot easier on me now, but I did not, so I'm paying the piper. So, all right. So we got this one here, which is going on here like that. This is the top. This is the bottom. I gotta see my piece. It's all pink except for this one over there. Okay, so we're gonna put these two pieces together. Right here on this long seam. And then these two pieces will go on the side, be the left side of the quilt. So we pin. <laughs> And I'm pinning so I don't have to stop when I'm sewing to match up stuff. I just, if I know I got to match them up and they're all going the same direction, I just rather go ahead and pin them now. If it was big pieces that I was lining up, I would just worry about it when I got to the intersection, but not today. Tiffany is giving you all the Facebook information again for you all to join if you have Facebook. Um, thanks, Robin. This is Bonnie Hunter's Mystery. Scroll back up. Tiffany has left a link for Bonnie Hunter's Mystery. Sue is reminding people that for those who's new to T's channel, which is my channel, Check out her library of uploaded videos. Great content. Yeah, so if you're new here and you don't see what I what you are interested in tonight or in the next few weeks, I have an extensive video library. I have over 500 videos on YouTube and that I have even uploaded videos. So please go check those out. Thanks, Robin Marie, again. <laughs> Uh, thanks to Molly. Tillis 8 is here saying hello and wow. Hello, Tillis. Welcome. Again, Tiffany has given you all the link to Bonnie Hunter's site. Uh, apparently, it's still on there. It's probably still free if Tiffany has a link for you guys. So make sure you get it soon because once it's off of the site for free, you will have to pay for this design. It's going to either be a pattern or in a book. And I am pinning my first two rows together. And then I'm going to put the left side of the first two rows on. So that's what we're working on. I've got 27 minutes to do what my goal is, which is to sew together rows one and two. <laughs> Completely. So I've got it in three pieces right now. I try to make a goal of what I want to do for the sewing so I can stay on track, not just read the comments. I gotta do some sewing. <laughs> Good night, Tiffany. Thank you so much for coming in and posting those links. I really appreciate it. She's leaving for tonight. She's not feeling good, got a headache. I don't know how she put up with the ruckus when she has a headache. I need complete silence. When my head hurts, she has extre extreme headaches, so. This one's taking a lot more pins. This is why I don't go across the whole quilt. It'll be even more pins. <laughs>
Okay, so look like I'm caught up in the chat. It's getting bigger. <laughs> to take the pen out to get over that hump. Hope that intersection works out. I only pressed one of the blocks that of the four that needed to be pressed. The other three are still sitting up here. <laughs> I started sewing uh, grows and later for that. I just don't like pressing unnecessarily doing the lives because I could be sewing instead. So I'd rather sew than press. Oops. Okay, my pen was crooked. I don't know what happened there. I think I was trying to go across both seams. Forgot about that. I didn't take care of it before I got to the pen. Um. I never did put the mic in, did I? One stuff. Life with Mia and Jay. Welcome to the live chat. Appreciate you commenting. Just doing some sewing here on Bonnie Hunter's mystery quilt. Good night, June. Thank you so much for coming. Right, I'm gonna break this thread here. My internet is so bad, I have a Fire 7 tablet. <laughs> it's all right. Now, this one is the top, I think. It should be three. Yep, this is the top. And I need to put a seam across here. So what I'm going to do is only press this in, and then I'm going to press the rest of this seam when I get to my big iron, because this is just getting to be ridiculous right now. I can't do all that here. So I'm going to press just this little corner edge so I can put my seams together. Right there. Let it get some heat. And then, I'm wondering if why it's like that is maybe my camera needs to be cleaned. I have a screen protector on it and sometimes I forget that it still needs to be cleaned. So this is my top. I'm going to put a pin in here. Right there. So I don't forget what's the top. And the left part of the top so far that I need to sew onto. This piece here needs to also be stitched, and I do need to press it. Okay, thanks to Molly. She's saying we hear you just fine. That's great. Uh, Angela Stringer came in, said good evening, T and T folks. Looks like your elbow deep in fun, T. Yep, a little bit of space here. We're almost, 
let's see if I'm putting this on here this is my left side so I want to put a press right here for sure this is the side that's going onto the quilt top so I'm just gonna stick a pin over here so I don't forget I'll probably go ahead and press this whole seam since it's a, only two blocks wide but I'll press anything more than that at the big station almost ready to show you all at least two or four rows put together one more seam trying to make it before 10 <laughs> okay pull this down and it's always this bulky intersection right here where all these red seams come together <laughs> and then I try to put my iron on it and steam it real good because I don't have a long enough strip stick it's gonna get lost up under here my ironing surface is not big enough for a long stick right here <laughs> Darcy is saying if you're new here subscribe and remember to give T a thumbs up. Thank you, Darcy. A life with Mia. I'm 100 today, so thank you so much. <laughs> Just dumb. And thanks, Kim. Try to be nice to people. Um. Okay, I'm looking for my pen. It's right here. <laughs> got the pen. And I've got this pen right here. Letting me know that this is the side. And these two pieces go together. So, I got a lot of pinning to do right here. <laughs> and then we'll have our first two rows put together. And that's a miracle. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh -uh. I'm trying to figure out how old is old. <laughs> Woo wee. I am not a spring chicken, but I know for a fact I don't look my age, so I'm not worried about that. Um... Uh, Judy says, when I asked how old is, oh, she says, it uh, depends on the age of, or how young the person that's looking on how old you are. I remember when I was younger, um, like 13 years old, something like that, you start thinking about age when you get into your teens, and I felt like 30 was old. <laughs> um... 
I felt like I probably would, you know, I, I couldn't even fathom myself reaching the age of 30 when I was 13. Boy, did 30 come quick, okay? You keep a living, unless you're taking the alternative. So, you don't have a choice but to get old. And I'm not looking to exit out anytime sooner than my time. So, this one's the pen I put in here, so I knew I was putting it to the right side. I can take that one out. It's a flower head pen. I don't want the long pen. I'm using silk pens that are a little bit thinner in case I have to, like, stitch over a seam. I like to use the, the thinner pens. And then these are those heated pens as well. If I need to, I can press over a pen. But what I'm doing now, I don't need to press over a pen. Only as old as you feel and act. That's correct. People are just rude anyway. So, sometimes it's teenagers doing it. Other times, it's just people that are just ignorant. So, you never know what the age of somebody is in these chats. Because grown folks can act crazy. Nancy, tell me one nice thing when you get older, ten percent discount at some restaurants. Yep. You know, I probably I, I I'm been a member of AARP since I was age fifty, and that's one of the things I hardly ever thought to pull out was my AARP card. And and since we've been in COVID, I don't even eat. I haven't eaten at too many places that serve you. I can count them probably on one hand. So, I haven't even been using any discounts. Growing older is mandatory. Growing up is optional. I'm exciting, exercising all my options. Yes. <laughs> My neighbor and I are 30 years apart, and when we come together, we both act like we're five. That's funny from Darcy. <laughs> Just have fun. If you're not bothering anybody else, what difference does it make? Have fun. Nancy says, I was born old. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. I like options, too. Yep. Just depends on the day and what you're doing, what your age and how you act. When I'm having fun, I'm having fun. Almost to the end of this seam, and we're going to cut this off. Yes. And this is another one of those seams. It's across four blocks. I'm not going to press this. So you will get to see what I just sewed was this piece here that's actually the left top of my quilt top. This is the top. Well, let me make sure. One, two, three. This is the top, and that's the bottom. <laughs> it's the left side. So this is the left side, and this is how much I've done. So I'm doing that more modern style. I'll show you the pattern in a, a minute. I've got half of it done now. So can't get too much showing here. But this is what we have. And I just need to press those final seams I just did. 
and I'll show you the pattern again so you can see what I've done the first two rows and what that looks like on the pattern because you can't see the whole thing here so on here I've got numbers in the centers of my four patches so I've done six four patches got two rows sewed together so I've got um, 7 through 12 four patches to make and sew those into rows. So that's where we'll pick up next time. And I'm going to be missing one of these pink blocks here because I ran out of yellow squares here. So I'm going to recut those and try to remember to make that block or have the pieces cut when I come in here. So that's where we are. We're almost getting there, and I don't know what I'm doing with borders. My first goal is to just, I'm trying to do piece reduction. I wanted to get all of these blocks done first. Got that done, and now we're just putting together what we can. I still have the flying geese. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with. Um, Let's see. Robin is asking me, was your New Year's resolution to get older stuff done? Yes and no. <laughs> I really didn't make any New Year resolution. What I'm trying to do is finish some older projects um, because they're pandemic projects. And I have a lecture that's coming up to be showing most of the things that I've worked on since 2020. And so I'm trying to get as many things completed as I can instead of just showing a whole lot of quilt tops. And so I started with the stuff that I had quilted in 2020 and just been sitting there. And uh, anything that I'm making now, I'm trying to just get it to that completion stage if I can. Um, I'm not going to have everything done. This was not part of that because uh, part of my lecture is just something that I'm working on to get it done. Because if I put it up, I'm afraid I'll never come back and finish it. So I'm trying to get this mystery done. So yes and no, but not necessarily a New Year's resolution. It's because I want to put these into some quilt lectures that are coming up. Lynette will be 60 in September. Lynette be 60 in September, and I plan on being off the chain. Somebody's going to have to hold me back. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> that is pretty cool. People putting their names in here. That's pretty cool. Got some major year milestones coming up this year. Thank you guys, saying the quilt looks good. I think I'm going to start parting a month early and stop a month late. <laughs> Darlene's the same age as T. Yep. We're both 100. <laughs> ah. Sue says that setting is stunning. Yes, I thought instead of, you know, I didn't necessarily like the way the chains were going. But I like the blocks together, so I just decided that I like this setting better that somebody else had done. So that's why I chose their setting. So um, looking forward to getting this completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of these. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight so she didn't use all of these nine that's what i thought i'm like it looks like i got extra blocks i do i got two extra blocks on the red chain blocks i mm. <laughs> can't talk about we're all spring chickens we just won't discuss which uh spring i see kim um she's still deleting folk we're not going to be on here much longer. We only got six minutes left. <laughs> Eric Oda just popped in to say hey. Hey, Eric. You're welcome, Eric. He says he's got the mail. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I can't believe how many pages are to this pattern. Yeah, and that's what's so funny. I never print out patterns. I always just download them into a folder. Either use a flash drive to download just quilt patterns or sew alongs, you know, name it something. And then I never print them because she's talking to you as well. And then she's showing you three and four different ways to do one project. 
it's like I am not going to be printing 15 pages every week, every time she uh, gave something. So, yeah. It's a lot of pages. All I did was just pulled it up on my screen and I wrote on a piece of paper what it was I needed to make. That's what I did. So... <laughs> She says after she printed off so many pages, she found a button for print friendly option. Yeah, yeah, do that. And then you just save the PDF. That's what you do. You save the PDF. And then anytime you need to look it up, like make a folder, even if it's in your downloads folder and just put Bonnie Hunter's 2021 mystery quilt. And then you save all the parts in there and just pull it up on your screen and just write on a piece of paper what you need because... When you're doing a sew along, they're giving you small segments, so it's not like you're drawing out the whole block at one time. And then at the end, I just uh, printed off the picture page of the quilt. So it goes. I don't. I don't print all of that. Rose Hinton is saying that she's. I am learning to quilt. Well, welcome. I got a lot of beginner tutorial type block quilt blocks you can make and techniques. So. Hopefully you can find something in my library that will help you. This is definitely not something I would recommend just jumping right in on uh, very tiny pieces uh, and lots of pieces. So uh, just check. And any block, you make one block, you can take that one block and make it into an entire quilt top. <laughs> Eric talking about, hey, I got my wrench back. Now I can play Smash the Troll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it got taken off before. That's weird. I downloaded that pattern. She says, uh, Darlene says, too much printing. Yeah, I never do print. And she's, when she first start off parts one and stuff like that, she's like talking to you, getting you motivated and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, Kristen says, I have so much ink this year printing. Uh, she's had to purchase so much ink printing off uh, patterns and stuff. Lynette says, uh, me too, Crystal. My sister bought me that Epson. You refill replacement ink cost $16. It really helps. Yeah, and I think one of my subscribers told me to buy an Epson printer. And I haven't put ink in there yet since I bought it. I, I've been trying to let it run low, but it is getting low. I need to go ahead and start filling it up. So, <laughs> um. You're welcome, Rose. Yes. So, Julie says, my family buys me ink for my printer for my birthdays and any other occasions they need to get me the gift, to give me a gift, and that helps a lot. Now, that's pretty cool. Now, what's expensive is the printer for my laser printer when I have to buy all four of those cartridges. I'm, I'm out close to over $500 for ink, so car, ink, laser uh, ink is expensive. <laughs> You're going to be there for a while because I think you got like eight things. The introduction and seven parts, if I'm not mistaken. It could be eight, but I think it's seven parts. It's been a while since I've been over there. <laughs> That's funny. My um, car is letting me know that my tire pressure is low. So that's cool. I'll take care of that tomorrow before I leave. Angela says, Hubby gave me a Guggenheim scissors, purple ir irises, and red tulips today for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, he's getting me prime rib and chocolate dinner. So that's pretty cool. That's a nice hubby. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Krista says she's going to give her husband a stroke for all the ink she's using. <laughs> I tell my husband he can print in black and white. That's funny. Joe Cuomo Perkins just came in saying, hey, T-Quilters, and we're about to leave. We're on our way out, um, Joe Perkins. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end here since we've got... Um, um, you know, a few trolls and stuff hanging around, so they just go change their handle and come right back. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and leave. Uh, thank you all so much for participating tonight. Appreciate that. If it wasn't for you guys and making me come in here to sew something, and I'm trying not to change projects because that's easy for me to do, so you all are helping me to get this um sew along done. So, uh, we've got this many blocks, and I need to make one more of this style so that I can get this quilt top put together hopefully um, next week we'll have the inside done and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the rest of it we'll have to make some additional plans the following week <laughs> when I'm off so thank you all so much for coming tonight appreciate you spending your time with me if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe to my channel on your way out, make sure you hit the thumbs up button on your way out. I appreciate that as well. Come back on Wednesday where we'll have a live chat for one hour, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload any videos this week. Uh, to, I'm starting tomorrow with cutting my kits. Uh, I also have days this week where I've got fabric coming in from my uh, take five kits that I'm going to cut after these kits are ready to go out for the people that are on my wait list already. So uh, it's a lot of fabric coming and a lot of cutting about to happen. So <laughs> that's where I'm at. I'm, I don't have time to do any a whole lot of desk work right now. So uh, just bear with me. Stuff is coming. Um, I got to also make a pattern for the new kit. I haven't even done that yet. So, and I don't know how I'm going to package it because I don't know how many pieces I got to package until I get them cut. So I got to work on all of that kind of stuff. Just know that the cutting is starting tomorrow. I doubt if we even get all the stuff we got to cut, cut tomorrow because it's a lot. Um, so thank you guys so much. I will see you all on Wednesday. You all stay safe, be blessed, and quilt out everybody.